Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with very interesting question today. So this question was asked in Vyapar in an online assessment, right? So there are two questions. If you see, uh, someone from my YouTube channel has sent it to me. I came I came across these two questions which were asked in Vyapar as an online assessment and couldn't answer them. So there are two questions. We will solve question number one today, and in the next video I will solve question number two. But question number one we will solve with two methods one is normal life one is mentor's life when i say mentor's life it means it will be some very tricky solution or you can say very scalable solution it will be or you will learn some new tricks in that so whatever you call it but it will be a cool kind of solution okay so let's understand the question first a company organizes a felicitation event to cheer up its employees and client and keep them motivated the company has many departments and in this event, the company wants to facilitate its best employee and clients of each department. An employee who has the most sales in his or department is the best employee in that department. A client who has given the most sales to the department is the best client. Right? You are given the following tables. So we have these four tables as you can see, employee details, sales, department, client. What we need in the output is we need this. So if you see output. We need department ID, right? Best employee in each department ID and best client in each department ID, right? So there will be three columns in the output and one row for each department. Great. Now let me move on to the SQL Server and let me explain. So these are the four tables if you see, right? It, it, it may be very overwhelming initially when you have four tables, but don't worry. We will simplify it and you won't feel there are too many tables also. Right. So we have employee sales table. So these this have the sales. So this is the main table we have. Then we have employee table, which has employee details as well as the department ID. Then we have department table, which has department ID, department name. Then we have client ID and client name. So these are the four tables and this is the expected output. The department ID one best employee is Bob and best client is Amazon. So likewise, we need in the output. Great. Now, if you look at this question carefully, right, these are two main tables because I need department wise total sales for each employee and each client. Now, if you see sales is there, client is there, employee ID is there. The only thing missing here is department. We don't know from which department this sale happened, from which department this sale happened. So we can just join these two tables, get the department ID, and then we have all the data. Just to get the names, we can join with other tables. But to get the IDs, basically, these two tables are enough, right? So what we will do, first we will join these two tables, right? And create a CT. And then after that, what we will do, we will solve this questions using a normal life and then Mentos life. So let's start. So we are interested in these two tables. Let me remove these two tables, right? I'll remove these two tables for now. We don't need it. Later, we will join and get the names. That's fine. So let's get started so we have these two tables now right so we just need to join this first so i will say select the staff from employee sales right let's call it sales s and then inner join employee details e this is employee table on s dot employee id equal to e dot employee id right once i have that what i need I need all three key column from sales table. That is the one thing. I need only department ID from here. So I will say, give me department ID. That's it. I don't need anything else from uh, employee table for now. That's it, right? So I have all the information now. Client, employee, department, sales. This is all we need, right? So let's create a CT. This will be a common CT we can use in my uh, normal solution and the mentor solution as well. Great. Now what we will do, in the normal solution, which is very brute force kind of thing, we will create separate CT. In one CT, we will get employee sales in each department and then another CT, we get client-wise client sales in each department, right? And then we can rank them and get the first first in both of them. So I'll just show you quickly. So first, let's say CT or CT employee or employee CT, anything is fine employee ct as right select from ct 
right and then i will say group it on group by department id so we need right tep id as well as i want that employee id as well right and then i will take them as well in the select comma sum of sales as emp sales right and from ct that's it right and then i will say select star from emp ct right so this is my first thing why it is giving me error uh, with ct as comma this as uh, what it is saying invalid column name department id okay let me run this uh there is okay this semicolon is creating issue fine okay so in department id there are two employees there can be multiple employees i have just taken a small data set but our solution will work on the even if we have 5 10 100 1000 employees doesn't matter so now deploy department id 1 employee id 101 is the best employee sorry 102 is the best employee see sales is 9000 in 2 103 is the best employee in 3 One zero five is the best employee. So what we will do, we will just derive rank. Now what I can do in next query, I can get the rank, or here as well I can get it. For clarity, I will do here, but here also you can do rank and order by sum of sales. But that's fine. I will derive it in the next one for clarity. So I will say row number, okay, over partition by. so what i need within each department so partition by department id order by employee sales descending as rn right so if i just run this it is giving me that department id 1 this is the top employee in department id 2 this is the top employee and 3 this is the top employee right so all i need to do is i can say select star from this table i have to make a alias from the sum query where r then equal to 1 right so this will give me top employees in each department so this is the first thing which is done right next thing i have to do i have to get the best client in each department so what i have to do i have to actually almost do the same thing so what i'll say i'll say uh, so let's create a ct best emp as this so this is my best best emp right and i have to put a comma here yeah okay so similarly i'll just copy this part right this part and same thing i have to do for client so i will just say client ct right same thing i have to do for client client ct and here instead of this i have to say client id client id client id i will get department client by sales and i will call it client right and then best client right best client and then here again i have to do partition by department id order by client sales from client ct right i think rest of the thing will be same so let me just quickly see best client is fine or not perfect so we got the best client as well that client id 1 4 and 5 in each department now i just need to join these two tables right i need to just join these two ct so i can say select star from best client inner join uh, best employee on uh, best client dot department id equal to best employee dot department id right and then what i need i need from best client i need the department id i can take from any of the table right and then from best client i will take the client id right and from best employee i need employee id that's it i don't need anything else this is all i need so i have department id client id employee id so this is perfect 
all i need to do is i need to join this table with client table to get the client name and then so there will be two more joins here right inner join client and instead of client id i will put the client name again inner join on employee details and instead of employee id i will get the name and that will be your answer right i am not going to do that but there will be two more joins here i hope you will be able to do it but if you see it has become very long query right so many cities right and sub queries also right so let's try to simplify it using mento solution okay so what we will do we will modify this query itself right so what i will do so this is fine now here i am saying that give me department and employee level sales i will get client sales also here itself so what i will do i will say union all this now when i do that right let me run this i'll show you what is the problem here so let this stuff from let's call it uh, employee client ct okay so select the star from employee client ct let's let's run it okay so i have union both the both the results right so i don't know that which one is client here which one is employee by looking at the numbers you are telling me but it can be same also in my data employee id is starting from 101 and client id is starting from 1 so you are able to differentiate but it can be same and we don't know that which row is coming from where right so what we will do right we will keep it as 1 but only thing we will do is we will keep one more column here and we will say emp as sale type comma so we'll create one more column emp as sale type and here we will say client as sale type because it is at client level right that is the only thing we have to do we can generalize the column names as well because this is not the employee sales it is employee and client both so instead of employee id i will say as id right similarly this is again a sales not employee sales so i will just say sales right? now if i run this let me remove everything else i i'll remove just everything else so that we can just run it easily right okay so let me run this now now we know that this is the sale of employees and this is the sale by clients that each client has given how much sales in each department and each employee has given how much sales has done how much sales in each department right now i will write rank right so i'll just say select a star from this right again row number over now you know you have to do partition by department id right but i need separate i need separate for for employee and client so ranking will be within department id and within sale type right order by sales descending as r right so let me run this now uh invalid column i think this is dp id perfect so if you see we got within each department right this is the id of the client with highest sales right again in department 2 this is the client with highest sales right so we got this now and for employees we have got separately right so all i need to do is right if you want to visualize it further what i would suggest it do it this order by uh, department id comma uh, sale type comma r n right you will be able to visualize it clearly yeah now you see department id 1 right and this is the client ids right and here we have 1 2 3 so this client has given maximum sales right similarly here in department id this is employee two employees right and this is has given maximum sales 1 0 and so on and so forth right great so now what we do we will say select star from so basically getting Uh, ranking separately, we have done union all, and at once we got it right. So let's call it A 
where r n equal to 1. Uh, order by we have to remove. Okay. So we get in department ID 1, this is the top client and this is the top employee. This is the top client, top employee, top client, top employee. Right. So this is what we have done. Now the only thing we have to do is we have to pivot it. Right. Because for each department, I need employee ID and client ID separate in two separate columns. So what I will say, I will say that give me department ID from here. Right. And I'll just use case when case when case when sale type equal to client then sales and as client ID. So not sales, then I need ID. Right. So if the sale type is client, then take ID, otherwise null. By default it is null. And if sale type is EMP ID, then this will be employee ID. Right. That's it. So if I run this, so I'm getting for department ID 1, client ID is 1, right? And employee ID is null, right? So in department ID, see client ID is 1 and this is null. So record where client ID is there, employee ID will be null. Record where employee ID is there, past employee is there, client is null. So I just have to do group by on department ID and get max of this. So this will give me 1, this will give me 1, 0, 2. We have done this many times in previous videos. So I will just say max. And then again, I will just say max. And we'll say group by department ID. Okay, so this is the same output we got. 1, client ID 1, employee ID 102. Right? Now in this solution, what is the good thing? The good thing is, we are not using this row number function multiple times. We are using just once, right? Number of CTs, CTs have reduced only one, two, three, four CTs. There we had six, seven CTs, right? Also, if we have some other kind of, uh, let's say we have employee wise and client wise, let's say there's one more thing. So we can just do union all here and everything else will work. We just have to add one more case one. In that case, we have to create multiple CTs for each type of sale type, right? So I think this is little complex if you see for the first time, but if you are, when you are comfortable with SQL, this solution is good. It will be faster also, I think, right? Let me know which solution you liked and do like the video. And if you have a better solution, comment in the comment box. I will do check it. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great day.